Many types of incidents can happen while you're away from your vehicle, from a simple door ding in a parking lot to a hit and run accident by a careless driver, or smash and grab burglary. Your car is essentially a sitting duck when it's unattended. Whether it's your family's only means of transportation or one of your company's fleet vehicles, you can never be too prepared for when things go wrong. A dash cam with parking mode provides proof and security by watching over your property, even when you can't. This video will cover a bit about a dash cam's parking mode feature, explaining the basic concepts of a dash cam's parking mode, such as what is parking mode, why would it be useful for personal and fleet vehicles, and how to enable parking mode in your vehicle. Let's begin with what parking mode is. Parking mode is a loosely used term for when a dash cam remains powered on inside a vehicle that isn't being operated. This feature goes by a few names depending on the brand of the dash cam. The Blackview and Avic brands refer to this feature as parking mode, while the brands DoD Tech and Thinkware refer to this feature as parking surveillance. For the sake of continuity, I'll refer to this feature throughout as parking mode. In both cases, your dash cam becomes a surveillance system where you're not operating your vehicle. It's important to note that true parking mode means that the dash cam is capable enough to know when the vehicle is parked, usually with the assistance of built-in GPS positioning. The dash cam then enters a different mode of video recording called parking mode. What this means is that instead of constantly recording video files to the memory card, which is what happens when you're driving, a dash cam with true parking mode functionality means the dash cam detects when your vehicle is parked. From that point on, the dash cam is on alert for movement or motion but it is not actually recording anything to the memory card yet. When a person passes near your vehicle or if an impact to the vehicle is detected, the dash cam then springs into action and saves those events to the memory card. This way you don't end up with hours of useless recordings on your memory card. Only events of interest are stored for your review. Now, less advanced dash cams without true parking mode functionality can be wired in a manner that they will stay on while the car is parked. Instead of being on alert for motion and impact, it will simply record all the time regardless of what may be happening in your vehicle and its surroundings. The drawback of this approach is that your memory card needs to be large enough to hold numerous hours of footage. Otherwise, any important events may be overwritten before you return to your vehicle and save the footage you want to keep. Furthermore, it's time consuming to review numerous hours of footage and search for that one moment that's important to you. Therefore. You want to find an advanced dash cam that features true parking mode functionality if keeping an eye on your vehicle while you're away is important to you. Now let's talk about why parking mode would be useful for personal and fleet vehicles. For personal vehicles, burglary of your vehicle usually happens while you're far away from your car or possibly while you're sleeping. Normally there isn't much you can do about it aside from purchasing an expensive alarm system. Now you can use your dash cam as an anti-theft device by using it as a deterrent or even as evidence against whomever broke into your car. Imagine someone sideswiping your vehicle while you're parked on the side of a busy street. Without a parking mode enabled dash cam, an insurance claim would have to be paid for by your own insurance company rather than by the culprit or their insurance company. The parking mode feature of a dash cam can provide evidence for insurance claims and hit and runs even when you're not operating your vehicle. Parking mode also acts as a surveillance system when you're not operating your vehicle so you can have peace of mind when you leave your vehicle unattended. A visible camera lens or blinking light may avert vandalism and force people to take ownership in hit and run situations. Dash cams in parking mode can also capture other types of events on video, such as amazing time lapse imagery or lightning and thunderstorms, just to name a couple of examples. Using a dash cam's parking mode isn't only beneficial for personal use, it's just as valuable for fleet vehicles. Not only can you check on your drivers while they're on the road, but with the parking mode feature enabled, you can check on your vehicles when they're off the road and the engine is shut off. Also, as a commercial vehicle, thieves often target fleet vehicles in hopes of stealing the cargo. Whether you want to hold your drivers accountable or monitor your vehicles in the cargo, parking mode provides that security even while parked. These are only a handful of the reasons why it can be valuable to have a dash cam with parking mode. Our customers provide us with new stories almost daily of how their dash cam's parking mode truly saved the day for them. Now let's discuss powering your dash cam's parking mode feature. Dash cams typically operate in unison with the vehicle's engine, switching on and off with your ignition key and only recording while your vehicle's engine is running. If you're powering your dash cam with a cigarette lighter outlet plug, which in most cases uses switched power, then your dash cam turns off when the engine shuts off. On the other hand, using parking mode requires that your dash cam be connected to a constant power source. In this mode, your dash cam operates even when your vehicle's engine is off. 
Most vehicles don't have a power outlet that provides a constant power source because this leaves your vehicle at risk of having a drained battery if devices are left plugged in for too long without the engine recharging the battery. So how do you safely enable parking mode in your vehicle? The best solution is to hardwire your dash cam, but there are other options as well. First off, hardwired dash cams are connected from the fuse box and are hidden behind a vehicle's interior panel, leaving a less cluttered aesthetic with no loose wires in sight. With this installation method, it is recommended that you use the Paramagic Pro or similar brand specific hardwire kits to safely take advantage of your dash cam's parking mode feature. For Blackview dash cams, it's recommended that dash cam owners who want to use the parking mode feature of their dash cams purchase Blackview's Paramagic Pro to minimize the risk of having a drained battery. The Paramagic Pro is a small control box that ties in with your vehicle's electrical system, operating as a battery discharge prevention module. It constantly monitors your vehicle's battery and automatically turns off your dash cam if the battery levels fall below a specific threshold. It's also recommended that our customers set their Paramagic Pro's power threshold to cut off at 12 volts. Also be sure to set the time threshold to infinity so the dash cam will stay on as long as possible, turning off only when the voltage threshold is reached. Thinkware dash cams actually have this low voltage protection built into the dash cam itself, so you do not need a separate control box to safely enable parking mode. You do, however, need to utilize the Thinkware direct wire harness, which connects to the fuse box rather than plugging into the cigarette lighter outlet. You will then configure the battery monitoring settings in the Thinkware software app. If you plan on installing the dash cam yourself, or you just want to learn a little bit more about constant and switch power sources, you can learn more by checking out our video on how to identify constant and switch fuses which is part of a three-part video series in identifying major components of installing a dash cam to a vehicle. Starting with covering how to identify your vehicle's fuse types, then identifying constant and switch fuses, and then ending with how to identify a proper ground point. If you don't want to use a Paramagic Pro or direct wire harness, which relies on your car's battery, you can use a dedicated battery pack such as the B124 from Blackview. An external battery pack will plug into your switch power cigarette outlet and will charge up as you drive the vehicle. Then when you shut off the engine, the battery pack becomes the source of power for the dash cam. There are pros and cons of using a dedicated battery pack for your dash cam, as opposed to a hardwire installation that uses your car's battery pack while parked. Here are some of the pros. A slightly easier installation, zero chance of draining your car battery, and it works great when the vehicle is driven regularly. Now, here are some of the cons. Installation isn't as clean, i.e. having something plugged into your cigarette lighter at all times. You need to hide a sizable battery pack somewhere in the vehicle's interior. Limited duration, it won't last as long as using a vehicle's battery. It requires time to charge between parking mode sessions and short commutes won't fully charge the battery pack and additional expenses of the battery pack itself. Now that we've learned a bit about Dashcam's parking mode feature, I hope you can now make an informative purchase. If you ask us for a recommendation on the best Dashcam with the parking mode feature, we're gonna point you to a model from Blackview or Thinkware. These two brands are proven to have outstanding parking mode performance and additional parking mode features, such as automatic event upload to the cloud or time-lapse functionality. If you'd like further information on parking mode and dash cams, you can visit the dashcamstore.com to read our supplemental parking mode blog post. And coming soon, a new and improved Paramagic Pro, the Paramagic EZ, which now allows users to plug and play using an OBD port instead of tapping directly into your fuse box. Thank you for watching, and as always, drive safe. Now recording.